Hey everybody, we're gonna look on how to set up your Audio Ape system for using the ATEM switcher and camera switching. So as you can see, this controls different cameras and we can use live cameras using ATEM hardware. We encourage at all times to use wired solutions. This whole system is wired. The only thing wireless is this frequency hopping professional grade remote. Everything else like 2.4 or Wi-Fi, we don't really 100% trust. We wanna see wired solutions. So the way to do that is with the USB-C iPad, you actually can go out to any USB-C hub. It doesn't even need to be Apple certified. So with this, we have the standard remote control operation, just one USB cord, and then the audio out into a DI box or a PA and gets fed there. But let's talk about this, because this is kind of new configuration. So USB out. Now we're gonna feed the video image, like your typical videos that you're gonna use in your show, background graphics, promo videos, things like that. Your content will be coming out of here and going in to the ATEM into camera one. So while this is on camera one, you're gonna be feeding your iPad content, like your graphics and your promo videos. And this whole, this master output is right here. This goes out to the projector, okay? So now you have your, your iPad content coming into here. Now you would plug other cameras into here. One, two, three other live cameras that you could have hardwired, or you could use professional grade uh, wireless camera solutions. They're out there. They start around $1,000, but that's what we recommend. Or you could just go wired also. So now we also have an ethernet cable coming right here, and that's actually what's gonna be controlling our cameras from our software. So we got the HDMI going out to feed our, uh, our content for our show. And then we have the ethernet line for communications. And so I will show you how to set up the ethernet line. So you can talk with the ATEM without any extra software or anything like that. But just know once you have this connected, so basically you're gonna be running these two lines, the HDMI and the ethernet together, backstage to where the ATEM is hooked up and hooked into your projector. So this line goes into the projector and this is your content and these are your other three cameras. And simply with a remote control, you can control the other cameras. Camera two, I just fired camera one, three, camera four, camera one again. So it has perfect control and it's all hardwired. You don't have to worry about any signal dropping or anything like that. And you have the best remote to control the whole operation with. So that's the way we recommend camera control and using your audio ape app. And uh, definitely take a look at the other video on how to actually set up the cues so you can communicate with your A10. All right, guys, let's look on how to configure your ATEM switcher uh, for your Audio Ape app. So if you have an ATEM that looks like this, and many any of the models will work just fine, uh, you're going to connect this to a Mac or PC. Um, you can see the little USB signal there that's connected. But first, after you connect it, you're going to need to launch not the control software, but the setup software. So when you double click this icon right here, this is going to pop up and you're gonna see with this USB symbol that is connected. So now we need to configure this or at least find the IP address that's being used for this device. So you open it up and then right here, it says the IP address is 192.168.68.100. Now we need to remember that number or write it down because we need to use it in the Audio Ape app. You should also uh, uh, keep this in mind right here and that's gonna be used to configure your network. So now that we have these two numbers and information, you can change these two manually if you want and hit save, but uh, you can use the defaults also. Once you save these, um, you are good to go. You can go ahead and unplug the ATEM and hop over to your iPad and let's get your network set up to communicate with your ATEM. Okay, now that we know the address of our ATAM switcher, we need to input that into our network settings. So right now I'm connected via Ethernet. You can connect via Wi-Fi. You'll configure it the same way. But I like to have a direct Ethernet connection going from my device running Audio 8 Pro to the ATEM switcher. So right now I am using an Ethernet connection. And let's configure the IP address so it matches the one we just looked at. So you're going to need to change the subnet mask. And we got to configure the IP to manual. So we're going to do this all our own. So the IP address, you have to have the same uh, couple numbers. So we got 192. The first three numbers have to be identical to the ATEM switcher, 168.68. Now these are the numbers that we found in the settings. Now you have to bank it a different number. So right now it's 100. So you can't pick the same address 
for the last three numbers. So you have to pick something. Uh, I usually do it right next to it. So I do 101, great. And now you also have to set this the same. It was 255, oops, 255.255.255.0. And then you just hit save. And now you're configured to speak with your ATEM switcher. Now let's go build the queue in AudioApe. Okay, now that you have everything configured, let's look at the ATEM queue. You can add the ATEM queue by going to plus and then going to smart queues. And all the way on the bottom here is ATEM camera queue. So we can build it fresh by just doing this. And we're gonna drag it up to the top and edit its properties and go ahead and put in the right address. So now you're putting in the address, not of this device, but of the IP of the Blackmagic switcher, 168.68. Dot 100 done and then you select whichever camera input it is you want to change to and then you can test the command right here and it's working perfectly so this is how to configure these cues and your network so you can control the atem switcher right in your app now i'm going to save these cues now you can drop these atem cues right in the middle of your playlist so it can be after a video plays or a music cue. So these can be duplicated and dropped in wherever you need them and you can edit them to select other cameras that you want to be on the network.